So, uh, next, if you could go into the crawl space, all right, follow that cable, and if you could uh, plug all of those terminals into the capacitors underneath. You know, the one next to the power converter? That's right, that's right. Hey, Dr. Cranium, what's up? Oh, hello, Milton. I'm uh, getting ready to untransmogrify Frank. Whoa, about time. Want any help? No, that's quite all right. Okay, what can I do? Uh, wait, wait, what? what? Um, no, I've got Regibor assisting. Hey, Regibor. Hey, man. Is that Regibor assisting? Yes, he's, he's perfect for the job. You don't want your plucky robotic assistant to help out? No, no, not, not at all. You don't want me to lend a hand at all? No, especially not lend a hand. Uh, what do you mean by that? Well, Regibor, he's got the perfect hands for this job. It's very delicate work, and you, well, your mitts are way too big. You think I got big hands? Really big hands. So you don't want my help at all? Nope. That's fine. Just go do whatever you want. Uh, whenever you, you not uh, Okay. Uh-oh. Not helping. Uh-oh. He says my hands are too big. Buh. So what happens next? Next, we input visual data into the lab computer to serve as a template for the transmogrification process. Um, I didn't follow any of that. Well, you see, the first time Frank stumbled into the transmogrifier, it wasn't exactly an accident. It just, uh, the transmogrifier wasn't hooked up to any sort of uh, template. It had no target data, so it had no idea what to turn Frank into. So, therefore, it just transformified into a, um, it transmogrified him into a... Um, a pile of goo. Yes, an undifferentiated pile of goo. So what we do is we plug a... I don't think my hands are too big. Just the right size. <laughs> so what you're saying is that we need to load photos of Frank into the lab computer so you can build a model of Frank that the transmogrifier can use to build him out of the goo. That's pretty much what I'm saying, yes. Okay, um... Do you have any photos of Frank with you? I brought my SD card. Oh, that'd be perfect. Let's take a look. All right. Um, this is a nice one. Uh, this is with our tango recital last year. Oh, that's very nice. I still have that flower. Yes, um, unfortunately, the top of his head is cut off, so um, I won't really be able to use this one to build a model. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah, do you have any more? Oh, yeah, plenty, plenty. Here. Uh, we're doing the crossword puzzle here. Pen, uh, Frank likes to do it in pen. That's very impressive, but unfortunately uh, his hands are cut off, and uh, I'm not sure that the computer will be able to recreate them otherwise. So um, what else have you got? Oh, I've got plenty. Here we're on a nature walk, and uh, we found some berries. Yes, um, we might be able to do something with that, but... Um, if you'll notice, you can't exactly see Frank's face. Oh, well, no, but uh, it's still a nice shot. Yes, it's a very nice shot, but we want to be able to see Frank's face so we can build a model of his face. All right. Here's one. Uh, you can see his face. Did Frank take this himself with his camera phone? Yeah, how'd you know? Uh, it was just a wild stab in the dark. But anyway, I need, uh, it's, it cuts off the top of his head and the bottom of his face and most of his arms and it's out of focus. So do you have anything else to show me? Oh, sure. Um, this one, it's, um, it's a pretty nice silhouette shot against the sky. Yes, it's a silhouette shot. Um, I can't see his no, face. No, oh, um, no, here's one no, while no, 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 there was suds everywhere. Yes, there's suds blocking his face. Well, um, how about this one? Um, what am I looking no, at? It's our no, Halloween costume. No, he's the no, ghost. He's, no, he's, he's entirely no. covered in a sheet. Well, yeah, no. that's kind of cute. You I see, it's not that easy. His face. No. Well, here's one where we're at an art gallery. <laughs> Let me explain. What I need from you is a photograph of Frank showing his entire body and his face. 
because I need to use it to make a model of Frank. His whole body and his face. So, do you have any photographs that show Frank's entire body and his face? Anything like that, Mr. Regibor? Well, I got this one that uh, you took of us right before the transmogrifier incident. Yes! That would be perfect. Thank you. All right. Now, let's just isolate the figure. We'll uh, color correct. Oh, that's nice. Uh, we'll bring out the outline so that the transmogrifier can better see the edges. No, no, it's about perfect. Well, it's not perfect. Not by a long shot. Now we have to compensate for the two-dimensionality of the render because photographs are two-dimensional and add the three-dimensionality back in so that we have a fully three-dimensional model. So we'll just do that and then we'll render the machine and the machine will go! Ha 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 ha! Dr. Cranium? Yes, Regibor, what is it? I don't know if you've noticed this. Yes. But, um, Frank and I, we are two-dimensional. Huh. I... I... Huh. I suppose you... Ah. Uh, yes. Um... Well, with the, I, I, is that the door with the, I, the phone might be, the, uh, I'll, I'll be right. I'm stuck. Oh. Yeah. No. Um, I think Frank's stuck in the transmogrifier. No. Yep. Looks like my big old hands are gonna be useful after all. Whoop. <laughs> okay, Frank. Hold tight, buddy. Thanks, Mountain. Whoa. Uh, how do I look? You look... You look good. How good? Cliffhanger good. Wow. <laughs> 